Welcome to the Statistic NED YouTube channel. I'm excited today to show you a package that I find really, really cool. It's the report package and you can use it to create texture reports of statistical models. Something you might have thought that you always need to do manually, but you don't. You can automate that process. So we start right away and simply with a t-test. The data I'm using today is from the Billboard package. It contains the top 100 songs for each year from 1960 to 2016. And we'll do a very simple t-test to compare average song positions of two artists. So some data preparation and I chose Britney Spears and Maroon 5. And then the highlighted line at the bottom of this code on the left hand side is the base R code for the t-test, the formula interface. And we run this simple test. So we see on the right hand side the output that we get. It's the typical output from a statistical package, R in this case, so um, you wouldn't use that directly for a presentation. And now in normal workflows we could scratch our head and try, up, try to come up with some pros to describe these results. We see there's a significant p-value, we get the means for the two groups, um, we get a confidence interval and so on, some parameters. Um, yeah. But what we really want is a paragraph of text that describes what we found out with this test. So if a fairy came along and granted us one wish, we might want to have a magic button that gives us this text output at the bottom from seeing the t-test at the top. So here in this presentation, I have this magic button. I can just simply move my mouse to get this text paragraph and I'll show you in a moment how to do that in R and all you need to do is write one simple line of R code to get that. So this magic button is very easy to implement. And that's how to do it. I assign the t-test to an object. I call it t-test here. Of course I could write a one-liner but I think it's more readable this way. So I assign the t-test to an object and then I simply call the report function on the on this object. So it's as simple as it gets, a simple one-liner report, t-test, and we get this text for free. We can have a look at the text. We get the key results from the t-test. We get the means for the groups. And we have this nice wording. Suggests that the effect is positive, statistically significant, and large, and then some more parameters. If you take a closer look, you see that um, effect sizes are mentioned here and also which methodology is used to implement them. And here in the end, when the parameters are given, we get Cohen's D and even a confidence interval for the Cohen's D effect size parameter. This is great because effect sizes are not part of base R standard t-test output. So um, we would have had to use another package or do more calculations to get effect sizes. So here on top of the text that, that we get, we also get the effect sizes basically for free from this simple one-liner. So that's really great and we can appreciate the great work that went into this package. I'll show you a second example. Oh yes, we can also extract parts of this text. We can use this whole paragraph, of course, but if we want to extract parts of that, there are several convenience functions. i show you one here report statistics. You can check out more in the documentation of the package. So here this just extracts the parameter part from this text paragraph. So we can access individual elements, but in many use cases it will be nice to get this whole paragraph. Let's look at a second example. We keep it simple again, a linear regression. Note that you don't have to keep it that simple. For example, GLMs, generalized linear models, are also supported and mixed effects models are supported and a couple of others and they may be extended in the future. But for the sake of this video, I keep it simple. I create a linear model just predicting the song position from the year to see if there's a clear trend over time for three artists that I chose here, Rihanna, Madonna and Elton John. We regard them together. We have a subset of the data for these three artists and we want to see if there's a clear trend over time with their song positions. And we get a clear answer. No, there's no clear tr trend over time. The coefficient is quite small, close to zero, and the p-value is clearly not significant. So again, we could scratch our heads and try to come up with pros to write some text to describe these, res re these results, or we use the magic button again. And the magic button is 
Again, at our hands, we simply use the report function again, like we did with the t-test. On the previous slide, I assigned the linear model to an object called lm, so I simply call the report function on that object, and um, it gives us this nice paragraph. So we have some wording. It says the model explains a statistically not significant and very weak proportion of variance. And it gives us a lot of parameters, the R squared, for example, an F value with the degrees of freedom, a P value, the adjusted R squared, and so on. Um, some more text, um, a model description here. And again, like in the case of the t-test, we get additional parameters that are not part of base R's standard output for the linear model. In this case, it's the standardized parameters, and there's even a description on how they were obtained by fitting the model on a standardized version of the data set. And again, we get confidence intervals, and also we get a note on which methodology was used to calculate these statistics. Walled approximation, also at the top, we see that the linear model was estimated using OLS ordinary list squares. So a lot of information, very detailed and publication ready for us to use. So that's really beneficial. I hope you already see that it can be really fun using these convenience functions. And you may also want to just report data. So we can do that here. One of the options you have to do that in an automated fashion is to use the report function from the report package. So here I just call the same function that we used before on the data set, top 100, and I get this paragraph back. We have two types of variables here, number, the song position, and the year are numeric, so we get distributions, means and standard deviations, and so on, and also skewness and kurtosis, and percentage of missing values. And then there are two character variables in this data set, title and artist, and we get the number of categories and the most frequent Category. So titles and artists are quite unique here. So the most frequent categories are still quite rare, less than 1%, but we do get um, some categories mentioned and also information on the number of categories and the missings. So this is very convenient and something we can use in our reports and publications. And lastly, it is also good practice to disclose the software you used to obtain your results. So we can use three convenience functions that I show you on this slide. Um, report system, so it shows that I was on a Windows machine here and which R version I used. Report packages, very convenient. Um, not only mention the packages, but also importantly give the package versions and the maintainers. So we can do that here. And lastly, to get more detailed information about the maintainers and all the side packages that you see at the bottom. R is included here um, and the packages we are using. Right, so I hope you already see that this can be great fun and take some pain out of your data analysis, save you time and give you more um, time to think about challenging parts and automate this part that may be um, tedious to do. A few more words about the package. These are the authors, Dominic Markovsky, Daniel Lüdecke, Matan Ben Shacha, Indrajit Patil, who is also the author of the GG Stats plot package that I made a video about that you may want to check out, Brenton Wiernick, and then a contributor Rudolf Siegel. And another good news is this package is not alone. It's part of a powerful ecosystem of R packages called Easy Stats um, that you see here in the center. And there are quite a number of packages that belong to this ecosystem, report is just one of them, so um, you can use it as a standalone package, but as you do more data analysis, you may want to check out some of the other packages and include them in your workflows and um, increase the fun you have in data analysis and automate more tasks um, and maybe get more appealing publications and visualizations. Right, that's about it for today. Have fun with your data analyses. Enjoy, all the best. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Check out my other videos. See you next time. Ciao.